Hi, I uh, hope you all had a good Easter holiday. Um, so this lesson is coming to you slightly differently now. Um, if you remember before the Easter holidays, I set you this. So this PowerPoint here, uh, it can just scroll through like this, which was all about how to join different uh, materials together. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do just a little bit just showing you the actual pieces that it's talking about, because this is all very well and good. That's a PowerPoint. But actually, let's have a look uh, and explore exactly the pieces that we're talking about. Now, before we get into this, um, I spoke about the difference between a nail and a screw. Well, this is a screw, okay? So you can see what I was talking about. Well, I was talking about the, the almost helter-skelter pattern, this curvy pattern which goes round and round, and it goes round and down. Uh, but that's what we call the thread. So here on the end, this part is the head of the screw. Now what you get is you get different ends to this. So uh, this has like a little cross on the end. You can get some that are just a straight line. Uh, this is a nail. So you can see much smaller. Now this does have a head. The reason why it has a head is to make it a lot easier to hammer it in. But you notice how it's much flatter. So if I try and put the two either side, you can see the head of the screw is much, much bigger, okay, um, than the nail. And the nail obviously doesn't have the thread along it. It literally just gets hammered into, into place. So, um, right, how do you use those? Well, coming into my drill packet here, you can see all these different types of drills, okay, or drill bits, should I say. Now, don't worry about these. These are all for tightening nuts and bolts, which you might go into later. Now, I said about the different screw heads on the end. Well, these here, these pieces here, are for that. They can turn your drill into a screwdriver. So you've got all the different ends here. Now, they all have different names, and you, when you buy the screws, it will tell you what they are. But... What you can see there is, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this by holding a phone, but we'll see. If I put one on here like this, I think this is a PZ2. That actually sits on there like that, and that one is the correct one to put in for the end there. Okay, the two match up. So that's a screw for you. Now, what you can see in here is you can actually see uh, three different sets of drill bits, okay? Now, these are your most common ones, okay? Uh, these here are the metalworking ones or just the all-use drill bits. Just trying to get a bit of focus on here. There we go. So these ones, are what you'd think is your standard drill bit, what you can see is you can see a tip on the end so that tip is gonna uh, press into the material, make a slight indentation. And then actually, if you look at the end of it there, there's a little point on the end there, and uh, you can see it better from there, a little point on the end here. And it's those points that cut into the material, and then it's removed around this, again, sort of helter-skelter pattern down here. And they come in a range of different sizes. Now, these ones, these ones are much more different. So look at the points on the end here, these sharp points. That's because these drill bits are designed specifically for wood, okay? So if you're doing anything in wood, what you do is you would pierce the wood first with the point, and that means it's not gonna slip, okay? Uh, and the top of it, the end of it, is designed to cut specifically into wood. Now the last ones are here. Now these ones are what's called masonry. Now when we talk about masonry, we're talking about bricks. So you can see actually the orange on here where I've used this to drill into a brick wall. And what this has, it almost has like this hammer end to it. And that's exactly what it is. It's got a point, yes, um, but it's you actually set the drill to what's called a hammer setting. So it not only turns, but pushes. So turn and push, turn and push. Uh, and that then means that um, it will help break the brick a little bit and soften it. But what it will do is it will um, obviously drill that hole. Now, I mentioned a countersink. 
So if you come on to the PowerPoint here, remember I said about the countersink? Well, this is your countersink drill bit, okay? So this here will drill that uh, crater for the, uh, the screw head. So if you have the screw on here, for the head just at the top there, you need this countersink. So you can see, you're not gonna be able to drill in, make a hole out of it. It's literally just to create that crater, so that will go into your drill to form a uh, countersink hole. So you can literally get, mine's quite basic, you can get loads of these and you get the drill bits in all different sizes, etc. But that's something that I would have just talked you through in lesson um, as, we, uh, as we went through. But I just thought I'd do this little video for you just to help you understand the different types of drill bits and what we use them for. I uh, hope you're keeping safe and I will speak to you again next lesson.